Matthew, how do you draw out the kind of emotions that you're looking for with your mm. subject? <laughs> I have to give something myself. I have to to open up and and show who I am and and be vulnerable. And once that happens, people will open up to me. But first I've got to open up and give something first. And then it helps pull something out. If I do something silly or or out of the box, you know, um, people open up, usually, and, uh, and I can get more. I can open up by even, by even talking about something, you know, that's uh, personal or, or it's just, I just gotta give in some way and they'll give back to me. That's part of the secret. And then the other part is just making sure I can make it feel, I wanna make them feel comfortable in a way that I wanna feel if I'm being photographed. So that means sometimes maybe having a, a private set so everybody has to have eyes on them, mm -hmm. uh, making them feel that they're involved, especially now when we're all shooting digitally and everything's being uh, seen on a monitor. So everybody's around the monitor and forgetting about the subject. I gotta always stay connected to my subject so they don't feel that disconnect. Gotcha. Or keep them involved also. Right. What advice would you give for viewers who just want to get better portraits? Mm. What advice would I give? There's a lot. Uh, uh, number one, um, I see this a lot. Don't look at the back of the camera. With digital, everybody takes a picture and looks at the back of the camera. Mm. Uh, get away from that. Either look at it one time, make sure you have the image, and then get away from that. Um, work on getting away from, once you have your light set, and if you're in a studio and you're a studio photographer, once you have your light set, don't worry about that. Worry about pulling out the, the, the energy of the person. Work on relating to the subject. And not just shooting them when they're ready and pose. Get a real moment. Something that shows who they are. Because when they're posing and, and this, you know, they feel tense, and you see the tension in the image, if they're themselves, if they're being themselves, you get a real person, a real shot. Um, we had this idea of what a portrait is. We had this box we put ourselves in. Break the box down and get away from anything that you would do normally and make your own portrait. Make your own vision of a portrait. What, is, what does a portrait mean to you? Change that around. Think out the box. Cool. Be sure to subscribe now to stay updated on my show and we'll give you tips and insight to keep advancing your photography. Also, check out our guests' website for a closer look at their work. Tune in to our next episode of Advancing Your Photography for an inside look at another photographer's world. Until then, this is Mark Silver reminding you to get out and capture your own images of life.